bring it. I'm going to have 48 hours. I'm going to have a SAVC2. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money. It is never Jones Van Beer. I'm going to have a lot of money. Nothing is late. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money. Staring up at a starry night sky evokes strange and unique feelings. It prompts us to ask, who are we? Where do we come from? Are we alone? These questions ignite the passion of many of today's famous astronomers. Hey, Antiro, what's up, Rana Monta? I want the astronomers. Man, let's talk about Antiro. What's the matter with Sunene? He didn't have any skill in having one bang when he got to commit. He was going to figure out who he was. Long time less. I got to talk about the astronomers. Titi Raini. To go to the Kadi Celestial Object. Seven days apart in the universe. I Geography, mathematics, physical science, and English. I think um, LO, English, and also life sciences. Math, science, and biology. The astronomers, the John Zelaguin, the Rolo. Maybe the uh, University of Swan. The Vets, Leicester University at UK. Kutorwa Kona, but Torwa Gui. They have to play something, have to play the hard time. In the office, some of them go to places to observe. When I'm going to get a good astronomer. I'm going to get a good astronomer. Because I'm going to get a good astronomer. And I'm going to get a good astronomer. I'm going to get a good astronomer. Yeah, I'd like to be an astronomer because it's it's exciting to study the, uh, the stars, the demons. So I take this a good talk about one from Wina. Me take a career guidance and so queeny. When I'm not so fickle like a career boy, dear Ina, Yelanzela. Astronomy is a study of the origin and evolution of the universe, the physics and the chemistry of celestial objects like stars, planets, comets, and galaxies. The minimum requirement for university entry is a metric exemption with mathematics and physical sciences, both of these subjects at higher grade. Reminder, for more information, please inquire at the institutions of your choice. Now, here's a question. Is this job for everyone? Well, if you're highly intelligent, imaginative, and curious, you enjoy and have good aptitude for mathematics and physics, you are able to think creatively and critically, and have good attention to detail and accuracy, then this career is definitely for you. Once qualified, you can seek employment at universities as a lecturer or researcher and astronomical research facilities. Astronomers' abilities, especially their scientific approach to problem solving, are also highly valued in almost all fields, ranging from aerospace, information technologies, telecommunications to financial services. I was able to get a job with John Ziwasiku. I was able to get a job with John Ziwasiku. I was able to get a job with John Ziwasiku. I was able to get a job with John Ziwasiku. I was able to get an extension to the school of AB Pukum Pisina Secondary School. I was able to get a job. I dream career is to become an astronomer. I am a man who is a man who is a man who is a man who is a 
Kizana AB Hokompe Secondary School Kidira Mopato Abo Sumetri Kerata Subject Ya Geography Kurukudu Cause Kerea Kishuza Nione Ewala Mo Geography Dream Career Kakuba Astronoma Kaba Galara Kerata Utseba Kale Fasi Dilo Chidi Dielang Around Earth Try for some pressures, okay? Thank you. 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 A life. So, given our astronomer, it is the the most important thing. Keep it so or a little bit young, or ring, little bit of a lady, why how you lose the different So, what are you going to say? Okay, I want to know the difference between the sun and the moon. But what about different theorem? Planet and work, do you have a lany, giving Hola Lembo Pelo, even though Galena Moscolonga Zona, but actually in March, can carry a little Nigata Honayoni in life. Okay, but on a double Kahore, I'm so little on the astronomers, or whatever to an angry curiosity. Luna Libonegari, the curious thing, and so is it? Hatonali di Loka, Halit Havimara. Oh, I would choose. Come on, it. Hey, now I get table and get a horror, she lost in the house. I get it. Okay. So I live with things. Look like I come to visit Ona. Now mostly, but it's the money book. Any internet, take a search. Is there a kind of horror? Can't tell horror. Motor, but I'm going to get the planet mostly horror. A planet and a life cafe, any planet is not life, and how many are those planets did they develop? I am okay. I'll enjoy things. Luna Halisha Bilene, Lebana Carafona Lady Challenges, Lika Copanang Lutoni. Mom, so it's an honor. Sometimes the car come now on a lodger side cushy mara because Hona Leva to Babacar to sad a recahon out ever. Cara, the lodging in Chitamo, the planet. Is it okay? Because Awana most people are like copana. Let's all these challenges. Come Morocco, ni go skolo, ngu go kai. And to to the face some of the challenges, you have to face them alone. Yeah. And today, you know, you have to. Oh, but only get two. So my brother, my brother, who two say, "Oh, three, but when?" That's good. Three land cars, oh, it's. Okay, I can always stand up here. I get it, ne? Okay, my little surprise for Luna. Can't wait to see. How is it going to be? Yeah, I'm just going to have an accident. Okay, you guys are spending two days with an astronomer. Yes. Okay, we can't wait. So, do you say anything that you want to know? I get it. Come, submit to Ona. Okay. I get it. This is your chance. Okay. Okay, before it's Amaya, you know, the t-shirts, it's uh, 48 hours. Okay, KKA, I'll see. There's yours. Wow, those are beautiful. Okay, go to the other and then look up and then go to the admin building. Okay. Okay, let's go to the other side. You can go. Bye. 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 Bagaina, kupai unza ile mavengele ni shala beka. Aibu nini kuri, mavengele ya ikomele yini. Eku vien kaina, badjonzi bada tlangana na astronoma ya siku. from the Hartabeustook Radio Astronomy Observatory. I work in astronomy, learning to understand the universe better, and today I have Precious and Triforsa job shadowing me. Hi, welcome to Hartabeustook Radio Astronomy Observatory. I was just wondering, what made you interested in a career in astronomy? I'm going to talk to the planet. I'm going to talk to the planet. I'm going to talk to the planet. 
When we study astronomy, we study the stars and the planets and in fact the whole of the universe around us. You need maths and science at the higher grade at school and then you go on to university where you need maths at least up to second year major and you need to major in physics all the way to third year. You can study astronomy at quite a number of universities around the country, the University of the Western Cape, and then at WITS you can study astronomy at the University of the Northwest, at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. You can even study astronomy through UNISA. So there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of places in the country where you can actually study astronomy after school. That is a model of our moon, and it's a scale model. Let's go and have a look at it. This is the model of our moon. What I love about my career as an astronomer is that I'm working with maths and science and I'm actually learning new things about the universe. Also, part of what I do is to explain astronomy to folks like you and I really enjoy telling people about astronomy and how much fun it is and how exciting it is to be learning new things about the universe. There are quite a lot of opportunities for careers in astronomy at the moment because the SKA is coming online. That will be the world's largest radio telescope. They're going to build 2,000 dishes in South Africa and another 1,000 dishes going up through neighboring countries in Southern Africa and even up into Kenya and Ghana. And for that, you're going to need civil engineers to make the roads, mechanical engineers to make the dishes, electronics engineers to put the electronics together, computer people to put the computers together, and scientists to actually work with the data and understand more about our universe. It's pretty much the same as a university lecturer would earn. So it's not a, a commercial type of a salary, but it's also not a, an unhelpful kind of a salary, if you know what I mean. It's a middle of the road, something like a university lecturer would earn. That's a surprise. We're going to do that tomorrow. Bumbiri, but Jones of Aina by a machine by Jones a hindi or a sukrana monta. I long ten gurus from Banjani. Hi, precious and try. Hello, how are you? Fine. Are you looking forward to your second day with us? Yes, welcome. This is a model of our telescope. Okay. It needs to move on in an east-west direction using this wheel and in a north-south direction using this wheel. Okay. So I'm going to move it east-west here and north-south there. Picking up radio waves coming from the stars, they hit the surface of the dish, they go up and hit the sub-reflector here, and then they go down and they're received here by special receivers for specific radio waves. The radio waves Radio waves are much like light. They're part of the same thing called the electromagnetic spectrum, uh -huh. but they have much longer wavelength than light and much lower energy than light. So they can actually travel through things like gas and dust, whereas light is blocked by that. Okay. okay. We can go and look at the real computer that controls the real telescope. Okay. Okay. okay, this is where my day starts. This is the computer from which we actually control the telescope. And over here you can see some of the output that is actually coming down from the telescope right now. And this is a um, star that is where the sun would be in another 5,000 million years time and you're getting very strong radio waves coming from the front and the back of a big shell of dust around that star. And we're, what we're interested in is not this big table mountain thing but rather those spiky 
features that you can see, those are the features that we actually want to study. And what we're going to do just now, it was over on that side, and we're going to actually use the two observations, the one there and the one there, to subtract off that big table mountain, which is the just the band pass. It's a, it's a feature more of the telescope than of what we're actually wanting to look at. We want to look at just this feature here. Okay. And quite often we will go, we won't necessarily just point the telescope anywhere in the sky, we're going to point it at a specific place, like you have longitude and latitude on the Earth, so you have right ascension and declination in the sky. So you're going to point at a particular place where you know that object is and you're going to expect to get that. Can you longitude and latitude more planets in your Earth? Okay, the longitude and latitude are a way of telling us where we are on the Earth. Your longitude are lines that go from pole to pole and your latitude are lines that go around the Earth. So that helps us tell where we are on the Earth. In the same way, when we look at the sky, we make lines like longitude and latitude in the sky, but we call them right ascension and declination. Okay. So, we to stop a telescope from those problems. Okay, what we need to do if we have an emergency is press the emergency stop button on the telescope and that will stop it immediately from whatever it is doing and then we would be able to fix, get the telescope into a position to fix the problem that we have. Okay, can we go now and see the button? Yes. Okay. Should we go over here? Okay, this is the emergency stop button, but don't press it because it would stop the telescope so fast that it would actually cause damage. So what we do is we actually use a control unit to control the telescope by computer so that we can stop it in a reasonable, safe manner. This okay. is only if there's a dire emergency that we press this button. Okay. We've seen the emergency button, now let's go and look at the control unit where we control the telescope using the computer. This is the computer which actually controls the telescope. This computer talks to the computer over there where we could see what was the actual information that was coming down from the stars that we were observing. And here we have the electronics which we actually use to um, interface with the computer, which then is the way in which the signals are sent up to actually control the telescope, which is out there, mm -hmm. which is the real telescope that we observe with. Okay. Let's go and have a look at it. We actually use this telescope to not only study the stars and the universe around us, but we can use the well-known points in space that we have been looking at for many, many years, using when we study the stars to actually measure where we are on the Earth. It's about 11 to 13 stories high and 26 meters in diameter. And the moving mass is about 200 tons. That's like a Boeing fully fueled, 747 fully fueled and full of passengers. That's the amount of mass that it that is able to move on that telescope. Let's go a bit closer and have a look. Okay. Okay, when we look at light, light travels, it's the fastest traveling thing known in the universe. It travels at three times 10 to the eight meters per second or three times 10 to the five kilometers per second. And so, but in space, the distances are very, very big. It takes light traveling at that speed eight minutes to get to us from the sun. So if something happened to the sun for eight minutes, we wouldn't know. The next nearest star to us after the sun, it takes light 4.2 years to get to us. So we can actually look at all the different kinds of stars in the sky. We know what powers a star. We know the nuclear reactions that power a star. And by putting all the facts together, we can work out how stars are born, how they grow old, and how they die. Okay, you wouldn't normally run a telescope as a business. Basically, astronomy is government-sponsored. It's a very expensive um, process in that a telescope like this would cost about 30 million rand to replace. And then you've also got the staff, you have to pay salaries. So it's not something that's actually bringing in money, but we are doing basic research in terms of understanding the universe around us. And also, for instance, if we'd have an asteroid or a meteorite that was coming that might damage the Earth, might hit the Earth and cause a lot of damage on the Earth, 
We want to know about that beforehand so that we can actually do something about it. And that is one of the things that we would be also studying in terms of astronomy. Thank you very much for coming to Heart of Eastwick to do your job shadowing. I hope you've learned something and feel you've got something to take away and that you've enjoyed yourselves. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Telescope <laughs> Wow, that's interesting, hey? <laughs> okay, so you think to a one failure that you didn't know before you were more 48 hours. Nurse at the Bore Telescope, a club, Gagani, any Yoni, Beragabiani, and I couldn't believe my eyes because they gave one of the Lagar and Nilin to a yan. Okay, well, now it's a little bit shallow. I went out. You must like Lady Diniani and you born at Nalit. Okay. <laughs> 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 My name is Sarah Wild, author of Searching African Skies, the Square Kilometre Array in South Africa's quest to hear the songs of the stars. And I'm also, in my day job, the science editor at the Mail and Guardian newspaper. I studied physics and English literature at Rhodes University, specialising in radio astronomy. So South Africa is one of the best places in the world to do astronomy. We have clear skies, amazing weather. I mean, it's not like England where you're always living under a cloud. The reason I decided to write a book about astronomy and the Square Kilometre Array is because these amazing things were happening in our back garden and nobody knew. For most people, astronomy and science is couched in maths and difficult language and jargon. And I see my role as a science journalist and a science writer in taking these difficult concepts and explaining them to everybody. Writing a book was one of the most difficult, yet one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I'm constantly amazed by how much we don't know. 20 years ago, people thought that the planets in our solar system were the only planets in the universe. And now we've found billions. At least 10 of those, possibly even 20, are habitable planets which means that it's possible for humans to live there or there could even be life there. For anyone who's interested in studying astronomy or getting a job related to astronomy, my main advice would be love what you do. While I, I became a science writer because I love words, other people work behind telescopes and are engineers. Other people are looking at streams of data and trying to make sense of the stars. So my main advice would be love what you do, otherwise do something else. <laughs> Mingaru walgu is alera eka 48 hours at sabc.co.za. Kumbe, nitsagela page rai nara Facebook. Ay tangane nakambe vikilertaka.